Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of Europe Universalis 4 as France. In the last episode, we finished our war with the Ottomans, where we forced the Ottomans to uh, and Sweden to give us provinces. We forced the uh, Turnids to give back provinces to Kazan or Kazaka, whatever, whatever you want to say for that. Um, and then we're we're integrating them now that we they've got all their cores back. Georgia has also gotten a bunch of their cores back, so we're going to be worry, working on integrating them now. And we can't send any diplomats. We don't have any. Interesting. Our diplomat will be back in 28 days. We've got one going to improve relation in Munchen. We might want to also integrate Bavaria because we've also got all the cores necessary for them. Oh no, actually Ulm has a few more. We might want to feed all of Ulm actually to Bavaria so there's no no rush on those guys. Um, Anot, will you vassalize now? You better freaking vassalize. Um, Silesia we forced to be our vassal. Ferrara, that's the one we want vassals. They will accept, so we will do that. They're already a relation, so it's not like it's going to hurt our diplopower any more than it's already being hurt. We've got two more provinces we can convert. It's kind of difficult. So we kind of got suck stuck because we integrated Russia, and then all these provinces started changing randomly at the same time, which kind of sucks. And we forgot to take our one province from the Ottomans, which is also sucky, but understandable. So we have 3,000... We have so many troops here. All right, so we're going to merge these guys, split them... We're going to have to split them again, and probably again, for each of these armies. Because they're just too massive. And we'll have to spread them out like we're carpet sieging our own country with just... But there's the, um, they're massive armies. Man, my god, there's so many of them. Alright, that should be good. They should all not be taking any more attrition. Oxfordshire. Like, see, I'm too lazy to take my ships across, but I think this time, since we're not at war, we can do that. Let's grab our transports here and just take them from Cox and take them over and just wreck them. Now, good, this is great news. Uh, we're working on getting our river cinched down. We just sold all the provinces we stole from Sweden to Norway. Will Sweden now vassalize without any fuss? They still insist that they have some sort of base tax advantage over us, which I completely disagree with, but... Who am I to argue with the game? Georgia, we're ready to annex you. We're going to send you a gift. I know that was way too much, but who cares. Uh, we're going to also send you some influence. Who's this guy? Bavaria. We can stop improving relations here. Stop that. And then we are annexing you. We are annexing, improving relations here. So we don't need to do that anymore. So we have three free guys. We, we're integrating three guys at once. We need to integrate Georgia as well. All right, and then we can also to, um, we can guarantee them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but we also have some other, do we have any other vassals over here? No, we just got Georgia. We have Ming. Well, I mean, we're, we're, we're working on Ming. We, we need to do stuff with them. But uh, So we're working on Netherlands. This is annexing. Georgia will annex. And then who else are we annexing? I forgot. There's one more I think I wanted to do. Well, did we? Yeah, Ferrara is ours now. So we can improve relations with them. The, the coalition against this is actually pretty scary now, if you look at it. Yeah, there's a lot of people who got pissed, really pissed, when we took some from Sweden. I don't understand how they're getting so pissed. I mean, come on. Or France. Maybe it was just a combination of everything we did, but still, I mean, I kind of feel like they should have left me alone. Anyways, we could probably make a little buttload more money. Let's see. Can you build some more mints? Yeah, why not? Whoa, we can actually build mints over here? Are you serious? Fine, let's build some mints. I don't mind. We've got plenty of money and plenty of admin power now. Since we haven't had to core anything or do anything with the admin power. Oh, wow, I didn't even realize Barcelona would do that. And here in a... Wow, that's going to be some good base tax up here. These little guys. What's the thing before a mint? I believe it's the treasury or something. Yeah, treasury. So you can build some treasuries. This is just going to make us have an insane amount of money. Even more insane than we already have. So brace yourself. Alright, so we built everything that we can build. Treasury, now counting house. And then before counting house is workshop. And before workshop is constable. So wow, we actually needed to build a lot of stuff. At least in England, but 
I mean, we've already built all the mints down here where we wanted to uh, in our in our uh, accepted culture. So down here is not going to do so much. And in Russia, where we built those guys, it's not going to do as much either. But hey, there we go. All done. That's all of our admin power. Good. And we're not taking any more attrition. Yay. These guys are going back to Paris, I believe. We have some troops here. I'm going to send these guys over to help over here because eventually we're going to be fighting there. And you guys can come down there. Papacy is still ours. Hesse has entered the military coalition against us. That's too bad. Uh, Poland actually broke off their alliance with us, which is really scary. And the Lithuanian order is now allied with Denmark and is in the coalition against us. We need to um, probably fight this coalition and just, I don't know, or maybe we just release, you know, go to war with this coalition against us and release those vassals that we don't care about and just annex them very quickly again. And then, and then we can just finish us off. There we go. 23,000 guys with a general should just so quickly just destroy them. Yeah, there they go. Battle of Oxford Fire, Short Fire, over. All right, all right. Let's go here, back over. We're gonna probably want to wait for our truces to go up though, because we want to have, we want to actually go to war with the entire coalition, so that we can peace out and get as much relation boost as we can. All right. So how close are we to this? Come on. Neighboring tolerated heretics. Yeah, you better give me this. Give me more relations. I mean, in the meantime, we might want to go to war with uh, Manchu. We can declare war on them now for a overseas expansion, so superiority, which is insanely good. Like, 50% cost for a full annexation. That sounds sweet. For all provinces? That's so good. We also want to go to war with the Oriats. But I believe the Oriats are, are, are allied with somebody special. Whoa. Did I say they're under a personal union? In a personal union under Joe? Are you serious? How are they even the same? They're not even the same religion. Oh, they're Buddhist. They're both Buddhist. Okay. Well, whatever. We're just going to declare war on them anyways. Who's Joe allied with? No one, right? They're allied with Ach, Lan, no one. We're going to declare war on them for show superiority. And we're going to call our allies. Anat does not want to join the war. And Manchu. Hello. No, we were going to annex uh, Georgia. Poop. Whatever. We're fighting the Oriats now. We're going to take over a bunch of their provinces. And release vassals or whatever. And then vassalize them. You know. That old thing. Alright, so we're fighting Zhou now. They've got 100,000 troops max. Wow, that's insane. We're just going to just mess them up. I believe the Oriats are actually allied with the Ottomans. So this is probably a good thing that Zhou has done this to them. Which is nice. I mean, I guess we'll just be able to wreck them, like we always say. I always say I'm going to wreck them. And I mean it this time. Definitely. Alright, we got some more. Yes, good. Still, ooh, reclaim. Where is this? What the heck is the Immernati? Let's see, uh, province finder, I am too weak to find this on my own, so I have no idea what that province is. Is it this one? Why would we care about this little tiny province? It's a core province? What? Oh, maybe we left them free. They might be one of the one province miners we released it, oops. I think they are. Are they allied with anybody? Nope. They have a truce, though, with all these guys. Let's declare war on them. Yeah, that should be... Yeah, we should definitely do that, just to regain. I think that might have been one of, the, of one of our one province miners we forgot. Oops. We'll send our troops down there to just go... and X them. Okay, that's gonna be some 45 or 26, whatever, Diplo power. It shouldn't be too hard. Too in that should be pretty inexpensive, actually. Oh, look at that Netherlands getting our little... Uh, pirates for us. Thank you, Netherlands. You're so nice. Good at colonizing all that crap up there for us. It's so annoying to colonize that. I like how there's Eskimos for the Indians in the, in the uh, Arctic. Oh well. We're doing good. Good, 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 good. Right, let's see. How's our His Holiness is outraged? Why? I don't even see any Joe soldiers. That's funny. 
Let's go down here to France. It's colonies. We won't last long. Haiti gains cores. Some guys rose up in Tortuga. Did we even get those guys back from Tortuga last time? Oh, we did. Huh. Well, let's merge up these guys here and uh, we will take these take these guys as many as we can fit on the boat and we will go and fight these idiots in Tortuga. You know, I didn't know Tortuga was there until I saw Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I was like, Tortuga, where's where's that? Oh, there it is. So that's where they're that's where all the pirates go and get their party on. Well, there we go, Tortuga is taken care of. Now uh What's happening over here? Did they come out and try to siege me? No, they're actually standing there thinking they're going to be defensive or something. There's the Oriat Horde's army. We're just going to start sieging them because there's like nothing that they can do. Their pitiful existence is going to be just destroyed in seconds. Uh, they'll pay for their tre treachery. And we're going to move in this army here to go kill those idiots. And let's send up some more guys. Yay! I wish we could have our extra diplomats like go work and make give us an, an extra diplomatic relation. That would be a cool way for that to work. What's cool is that all these guys... Oh, they've inherited Bengal. Interesting. Looks like Delhi is actually doing pretty well over there. All right, France, 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 France. I want to, I want to take out the Oriat Hordes provinces up here. We'll probably just annex those guys. Oh wow, we actually lost a battle. Are you serious? Oh, that was our siege. Ha! Huh. Well, here, let me, uh, let me relieve you of existence. We'll even send in some more extra troops, just in case there's not enough here. But there was. And we'll force march them onto your face! You can't run forever. And the forever apparently ends right there. 6.2 war score, nice. Now they're gonna run over here, aren't they? Good! That means my 12,000 men over here can deal with them. Then we can get another idea. How about we get another defensive idea? Land maintenance. Yay! 10% less. Awesome. How? When are we going? Are we up for the next tech yet? Ah, we could. Save for that, I guess. But, uh, I mean, that, that, that maintenance thing is going to help us get some more money all the time. I'm just trying to track where the uh, the enemies are going, and as well as we're gonna try to squish this little army here. In a yeah, we're gonna take this army here, stop them force march, stop this force march. We'll split them in half, have them start up sieging, and we'll take out these twenty thousand men here. And where's this army going? Because we're trying to figure out where they're going to retreat to. Is it going to be down or up? Oh, it looks like they're going to probably go to Hux... Huxai? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. So yeah, they look like they're going to to Ladong. We'll just wait. Oh, no, there they go. To Huxai, so we'll squish them there. Bye-bye, Huxai. And boom! Squish these idiots. Siege is over. Good. All right, let's piece you out. All right, we're gonna set you as a rival, and then we piece them out, and it's gonna be real cheap. So you guys, full annexation. Now, who's this gonna piss off? Just this, the, the Ottomans. Who cares? <sighs> Good, we got our reconquest thing. We can send these troops over and help us with the Oriat's Horde. Now you guys can go there and then return and kill the rebels for our friendly vassal here. Who's done nothing but be happy with us. Oh, these guys are running away as well already. Alright, we'll split in half. 
and send these troops to here. All right, yeah, I think we've got this pretty much on lock. You guys are going to go kill these 11,000 morons. And then the, ooh, 15,000 morons. How about that? Well, you're not getting away from me this time, because i got two armies over here, which are going to squish you. Yeah, bye-bye. Stupid Joe. We could probably use this war to release some of Ming's cores as well right now, but I don't think we're going to have time to do that, or enough Diplo power, rather. So we got two down here that we need to do. How about you go there, and then this army. You can go there. Do we still have any rebels? Let me check my hostile sieges. Wayne Zhao. Oh, that's not so bad. He will live, whatever. I like how that's what you say, like the Pope's like, I'm so mad, why did this place change religion? And you're like, you'll live. <laughs> live and let live. Alright, good, good, good. I think we, we should probably go siege up those those areas because we need to, um, we need to go ahead and, oh, we lost a cost spell against Molly. Why, did they convert to Catholicism or something? Oh, it was probably just one of our things on the end here. Where's their capital? Does Mali still have province over here or something? Where's their freaking capital at? Is this it? Yeah, there it is. And they are still Sunni. Okay. Well, let's continue here. <sighs> Oh good, we crushed the revolt here pretty fast. S send another guy. I really wish we had more diplo power, but you know, you can only get so much with our relations like this. Maybe our next guy will actually have more. Let's see, how old is this guy? 61. Leads personal union with Norway and Austria, and that's going to be fine. We're the same dynasty as Denmark in the Palinate. Francis von Wulsbach. Who's our, how's our guy here? Oh, he's okay. I mean, he's the same, but he's only age, he's age 49, so he's going to die soon anyways. Uh, uh, revolt over here, that's annoying. So you guys come down there, squash that. Oh, can we actually get to you by the sea? Or is Mexico, is that Mexico City or whatever? Yeah, so sorry. I guess we're just, we'll just take our boats over there. I mean, we need to have our troops down there anyways. But um, we'll just start another colony down here. These guys are just standing there. Those are the ones we want. Oh, we should probably do all our cores before they get expensive. Oh, look at that. All our cores are going to get done. Sweet. Leash as well. Wow, that was fast. Probably just because it's so close, you know? We are pleased. Sieges are over, sieges are over, revolt in Solomesk. Well, let's take that out first. And we'll move these guys up north. And we'll move these guys to the other province here. 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 Let's go here. We need to we need to actually deal with these guys. Let's get them a leader. A good leader, that is. And let's see if we can't just take them out with with seven thousand units. That should we should be able to, but they might actually have a lot of uh, defense up here, are they? No, this should just be easy. Yeah, not even a river crossing. Yeah, we're just gonna wreck them, man. Send them screaming back into the uh, abyss. Good. All right, we got a peace offer from Joe. We'll mill all treaty with with Morocco, and with overseas expansion, we gain zero. Oh, please. Uh, let's set the Oriat Horde as a rival. Oh, the Oriat Horde is already a rival. Thank you. Good. All right, so let's. Can we sue for peace individually, Oriat Horde? No, we have to sue for peace for with Joe. Well, let's see. How much is? Whoa, that's so cheap. All these provinces are so insanely cheap. 
Well, we probably want to take the ones that are Mongolia. So, uh, let's see if we can't find Mongolia. Mongol Conte. Mongol Conte. Well, I think if we actually look at like this, here we go. If we sue for peace and then we look at the uh, release nations, Mongol Kahante, we can see that these are the provinces that they're considered it. So um, let's get in there and siege them up, make them a priority. Because we're going to want to take all of those and then if we can get any more, we will take them. Let's get another level of, or another guy converted. And then if we can't snag these two, I would be, I'd be, I would like to snag those two provinces up there. Just to make France massive, the name, you know? Especially when we integrate Kazan. How's our papacy? Ooh, papal state, looks like they're trying to actually contain, to actually get a hold on the, the papacy. That's not happening. We have too much influence, an insane amount of influence. And yeah, sorry. You're done. And we have 70 Imperial Authority. We're actually going to be able to do the next reform if we wanted to. And I believe if we then lose the Emperor, you know, battle or whatever, if we lose the election, then it goes up to... Then we're not technically a HRE member anymore. And then we can, we can declare war, but they can't. That might be a good idea. Let's improve relations here. And we can probably get up to 100, right? Yeah, we need to get up some more relations here. We can get, do we give them uh, royal relate? Yeah, we did already. Uh, let's embrace this. Oh, we, we'll lose the stability. That's fine. I can just go buy it back. Boom, done. And we have zero percent overextension. Yay! Because we've cored all these areas up here, I guess. And the Thonian Order still in a coalition against us. Kind of annoying, but hey, at least we don't have to worry about revolts anymore up there. Norway, how far are we? We are we from integrating you, Norway? I don't know. Oh well. Let's try to get these sieges done for the Oriat Horde. Now, we're going to need to siege a whole lot. So, yeah, we're at war with a lot down here that I do not care to piece out individually. Orissa, we could actually... Can we vassalize you? Yeah, we can vassalize you in one just go. But I, I we're not going to be able to get access through Vajinagar. I don't think they kind of hate us a lot. Oh, <sighs> okay. Do, no, I'm never doing that. I'm never gonna tech up in naval. Or in diplo, rather. Good, Sabir is over, and now we can send these guys to go take out those forces from the Oriat Horde, hopefully. And we can just continue sieging up Zhao. I mean, with all of our ridiculous claims already. Let's see, how much are we. Oh, why can't. Oh, that's their capital. Okay, that makes sense that we can't take that just yet. So how much are all these provinces in war score? Five. But how much is it in uh, in money? It's 30, 33 diplo power. Oh, we got 300, so we got plenty. Let's get the admin power. It's good news. Sieges are over. Okay. Military access from Poland. Sure, mil Poland. Good, another siege is done. We need to get somebody sieging up here. Oh good, George is going to take him out for us, so we don't even need to worry about that. We can just worry about sieging the next province. Alright, and the Siege of Gaul is over. That means we can move down to here. Amodo is over. Sweet. St. Helena. Oh god, so many changing to Reformed. I hate it. Like, if we had just... If they had just given us, like, a few years to finish uh, the conversion of all of Russia, then, then it probably would have been easy to keep everything converted, but it's hard now. I mean, we're doing it. I mean, everything is starting to look a little bit more Catholic, but it's kind of annoying that everything keeps changing. Oh well. I mean, there, there is there nothing really I could have done about that, so... Blech. Siege is over. Yay. Alright. Um, let's, uh, let's go fight. Let's take our big army here and fight down there, because we don't need to have the big army. Oh, oh, you morons. Can't believe they're trying to fight us there. We've lost the siege. No. Just kidding. It's fine. Um, I 
How about you go die? Then we have a siege here. Oh, hello. I didn't even realize they were down here. We'll just go squish them with those 5,000 troops. Siege of Ishtesh is over. How about you guys drop a siege and run these guys over? Yay, five war score. All right, and then we can get these Oriad hordes out of the way. How much army do they have now? Wow, we haven't even really taken out most of their army. This is interesting. Oh, good, they're going to retreat to right here. Ha ha ha. Bye-bye! Uh, oh, are you serious? That didn't give us the uh, the all good. Oh, come on! There we go, I think we squished them finally. <laughs> Anyways, we got three guys ready now to go. Five speed is fast. Oh good, we are done with all three of these cores very shortly. And we can finally do this one when the colony finishes. Does that mean we have colonists free? No. I guess they just haven't gotten there yet. Interesting. It's taking a long time to get there, guys. Oh well. Our truce is about to expire with the Ottomans at Adul. It's okay. Hei Zhang is over. Hmm. It's not going to cost very much to vassalize Manchu, but it's going to cost a lot to uh, to do anything else, really. Like, to give them back any cores. I guess we'll kill that. Move these guys a little bit more southern, southward. Because we need to get more score with this, because we need to get enough score to take all of these. Well, let me see. Is this a... Uh, yeah. The Mongol Kahante. Let's see, close, clear offer. If you if you release the the Mongol Kahante, that's these guys, right? All right, so we'll take. So then the Mongol Kahante is only that one last little province there. Okay. And then we're probably gonna want to sell to them all these provinces over here. Is the Mongol Kahante sharing cores with Manchu as well? No, but Manchu has claims on them. Okay, that's good then. We don't have to worry about Manchu and the Mongols arguing over the provinces. Kill them all. Oh, poor Asia. They had no idea what they were getting into with all of our massive armies and warmongering. Our annexations are going pretty well. Our Austria will be done in June 17. Do we, can we please have a statesman? Can we please? Thank you. Awesome. So these annexations should go way faster. This guy is four years faster. And uh, these guys are going to be done in 69 and 73. Good. Haksai is over. Sweet. All right. Come on. Finish all the annex these things up here so we can just annex all of the Oriate Horde. All right, we want to return annex. Probably want to annex some more of these guys. Where is all this war score coming from? I mean, I know we annex asking for a lot. But... No, and then if we we can't, we can no longer annex the Mongol Kahante. So that means that we've gotten all the ones that we can. So let's uh. Let's see how much these two up here are. Because I want France to be ginormous. The word France, you know. And then maybe we'll take these guys up here. I think these... I think we should take ones that we can sell to the Cajante, because I'm not too keen on this overextension here. So I think the Cajante will probably take that many. We'll see. It's a lot of overextension and a lot of... People, uh, the Oriat Horde is going to be so pissed. Shun. Is uh, Ming on here at all? No, nobody even cares in the West. So that's just barely too much to take anymore. Is that, what about this one? Ooh, that's going to be nice and cheap. We'll sell that to Kazan before we uh, annex them. Alright, so why won't they take this? It's not long enough for whatever. Alright, so that's going to be our peace offer. We have enough. We have enough diplo, right? 
Yeah, it's only 500 Diplop. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we need to step it back a little bit, but uh, still, we're just going to be something like that. I mean, we could probably get to 500 if in in a while. I mean, uh, eventually. And we're going to get rid of some of these uh, some of these relations quickly, so shortly. And having all that territory is going to just be so nice. It's going to be so much easier to get to China and stuff like that. I got another reformed. Let's, uh... No, I'm never really going to do that tech level. Conquer Milan. Ooh. That might be a good idea, but you can never have too much money, you know. Military access from Salzburg. That's fine. Salzburg, you can have military access. I don't mind. Where's Salzburg on this? Is this Salzburg? No, Salzburg is here. They're at war with Wurzburg and Poland? Who's Poland fighting? Hesse, Sweden, and Salzburg. Oh, poor Sweden. Bye, Sweden. <laughs> I hope you get... Oh, that little area. That's what they wanted back. I get it. You go, Poland. We're just going to re reverse that anyways. How about we unsee? We go stop them. Uh, lose the ducats, definitely. We didn't even change the number because we have so much. Anyways, that's going to probably about do it for this episode, guys. As you see here, the Oriot Horde is looking nice and blue. We're going to move down into Sh into Zhou, finish off there, uh, there, get them to 100%, and annex as much as we can of the Oriot Horde. We're working on, we're going to be finishing uh, Netherlands very shortly, so that's going to be nice and blue over here as well. And I would like to thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Spray and pray out.